Number one is that since mentally you cannot arrive into the fifth dimensional consciousness by only simply thinking or talking yourself into it, the way you reach the higher consciousness is you have to learn a system, a teaching, a method of raising your vibrations to a higher frequency because the fifth dimension is a different frequency. It's a different reality. And you cannot go to fifth dimension with this kind of mentality that you have. You can enter into fifth dimension because your mentality is duality. Fifth dimension is one, it's oneness. It's one only. There is no two in it. It's a dimension of oneness. So to enter into the dimension of oneness, you have to rise above who you are, what you think you are, to the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are is different than who you think you are. Who you think you are is a human being separated with a sense of separation and needy. That's who you are. Who you think you are. I'm sorry. This is who you think you are. You're separated. Your experience of life is separation. You're always in fear and anxiety. Your feelings always get hurt. You're always up and down in this emotional yo-yo when somebody tells you something that insults you or you don't like it, or things don't go your way, or you don't get what you want, and your body is always reacting because of the hormonal changes and chemical changes in the body. So that's, but that's not who you are. That's your perception of who you think you are, because Nobody ever gave you a better model. Nobody showed you a better model of who you really are. So you don't know what to compare yourself to. Then you get trapped into this pseudo spirituality work that you going to all these different courses and seminars, which are good in that moment because it's a step to get to where you're at here. That they're all emphasizing that you have your own free will, you can create anything you want, you can get wherever you want. So what they do is they're fortifying your sense of individuality, your sense of separation is getting fortified, it's getting stronger. The I thought that I am powerful, I am mighty, I am the creator of my own life, which is bullshit, gets fortified, gets stronger. So of course you're never going to come to the fifth dimension because you're going to remain in this duality place. In the past 50 years, I want to ask you this. I want you to do some research, please, and tell me if I'm wrong. Bring your research back to me. Educate me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm asking you a question. This is a challenge. Do some homework and come back to me next week or in two weeks and tell me, Zarathustra, you're wrong. Okay, tell me if one person, one person, I'm not asking for much. If one person got enlightened from pseudo spirituality, Bring me one person who got that you know they got enlightened from pseudo spirituality, from any of the training programs, courses, teachers that they are teaching you self empowerment type of courses. Come back to me and give me one person that in past 50 years got enlightened from that kind of practice. Because I don't know of one person. And I've been in this realm, this industry, in this 
thing for 30 something years as a spiritual seeker. And I don't know of a single person who got enlightened. And I'm, now this is different if you were with Muktananda, if you were with J. Krishnamurti, if you were with Osha, if you were with Neem Karoli Baba, if you were with Nisargadatta, you were with Papaji, you were with Ramana Maharshi. Those are not pseudo-spiritual teachers. None of those gurus you go to are going to tell you the rap you're hearing today that you create your own reality. Oh, I'm coming down with a cold. This is the thing that bugs the shit out of me. I have to tell you what really bugs me. I have some friends that their lives are miserable. They're broke. They don't get what they want. They don't get the man they want. And when I'm talking to them, you know what? I feel like I'm coming with a cold. No, no, no. Don't say this word. Don't say this word. Don't say anything negative. You're going to create it. Don't say you're coming with a cold. Dude, I feel like I'm coming with a cold. And I'm, you're my friend. I'm talking to you. I can't even tell you something like this because it's going to manifest. It will happen. You have any friends? Are you one of these people or you've gone to that period of time that everything you say has to be a positive thing to say you should not say anything negative because it's going to happen because you're creating your own reality through your thoughts and your speeches now all day long you have to be spending time not thinking negative and not saying anything negative negative. and you know how exhausting that is that you keep doing this all day long. And now all day you're thinking. You're thinking not to say something negative or not to do to project anything negative. So that keeps you into thinking. Means you are a person capable of doing something. So that keeps you into the trap. Because you become an individual who is capable of doing something. And it sounds attractive, but you can't. Because you're not an individual separated from God. God is the only thing there is. And God is the only one who's operating through you. So there is no you. You, as a separate entity, does not exist. You don't exist in separation. You've always been one. Okay. You've always been one. You will always be one. And it doesn't matter what you do. You're always one. You're always God. Now... So then you may come and say, well, why are you talking about these things? And why are you giving me this exercise? I'm giving you this exercise for you to realize that you are one. It's not for me. I'm giving you that exercise because I already know you're one. I know you're one with God, but I see you suffering. So I want to help you not suffer. So this ascension to fifth dimension is you're already there. It's not like you're going anywhere. Your higher self, your wisdom, your inner being, the observer within yourself is already enlightened. You are already enlightened. You just don't know it because you have a false belief system. You think you're a beggar. So what do you do? You're begging. You're running around to different teachers, different gurus, different famous people, begging them to give you some love, to give you some confirmation, to tell you that you're good. But you don't know that you are the source. You're already the king. 